Playwright is a browser automation tool that provides end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate Playwright tests with X-Ray. You'll see how to use the code that we've prepared in Git, execute the tests, and configure a pipeline in Jenkins so we can inject the results back in X-Ray. First, let me create a directory that holds the code and extract the code from GitHub. The first command we'll execute is to update the dependencies, and then we'll execute the tests that are defined in the code using Playwright. These two commands are present in the tutorial. Let me just show you my Jira instance where I have a test plan, COM10, pre-prepared for this demonstration. We can see that we don't have any test executions. Before running our test cases, we need to configure the test suite to generate a compatible JUnit report. We'll use that report to submit the test automation results back to X-Ray and see them in Jira. We can also set it whenever running the tests from the command line using JUnit and report file arguments. Stepping into Jenkins, I'm going to show you how to define the pipeline that will execute the code and push back the results to Jira. Start by creating a new pipeline. As you can see, I'm just giving it a name. It's a freestyle project, a really simple pipeline. What I'm going to do is extract the code from the same place, again this information is in the tutorial, and use the default configuration. Next, add a shell script that will execute these two commands that we just used locally. Finally, and as this will execute the tests and produce the test results file, I'm going to use the X-Ray plugin to import the results back. As you can see in the plugin, I'm just going to define what is our Jira instance, where I'm going to upload these results, choose the correct format of the results, in my case, JUnit XML, add the file path of the results file, add the project key from the project in Jira, add the test plan key where we're going to inject the results. Once it's done, press save to save the pipeline. Next, let's build this pipeline and check the details of the build. We can see it's already extracted the code and downloaded the dependencies. We can see the test results where two tests were executed and passed. Finally, we're importing the results back to X-Ray. Here we can see that the answer from X-Ray is 200 OK, so it managed the importation with success. On the result, we can see that it's created a test execution with IDCOM98. Coming back to the project, reload the test plan that I referenced in Jenkins. We can see a test execution called COM98 associated to it. Drilling down, we can see the details about the two tests that were executed. We can see that we have two tests here. For each one of them, we can see the details here. We have other ways to import the results back to X-Ray via API or using the UI interface. If you want to know more, please check out the written tutorial.